Those comments from the president on Twitter overshadowing that uh, health care showdown. The Senate running out of time to draft a new version of the bill before taking off for the 4th of July recess. Our congressional correspondent, Mary Bruce, is tracking it all on Capitol Hill for us. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Robin. Well, Senate Republicans were hoping to have a revised health care bill by now, but instead they're heading home empty handed. The negotiations continued up here yesterday behind closed doors, and they are zeroing in on some new proposals. Here, here's what's now on the table. To please moderate holdouts, they're considering adding up to $45 billion to fight the opioid epidemic and keeping an Obamacare tax on wealthy investors, while some conservatives are pushing a proposal that would allow insurance companies to offer cheaper plans that do not cover some essential health benefits. But Robin, none of these options this morning appear to be enough to turn any of the no's into yeses. So again, we ask this over and over and over again. Where do they go from here, Mary? Well, first senators are going home, Robin, and this debate is likely to follow them there. They are bracing for pushback and an earful from some of their constituents. And these health care talks are likely to continue during the break. And Republican leaders are still hopeful that they can have a vote finally next month. But if they aren't able to get this done, the president just now tweeted that they should immediately repeal and then replace at a later date. Robin. All right, Mary. Which is very, very different plan. That's yes. brand new this morning.